function of being recognized wherever they go. Huh? Film stars, of course. And we've been seeing rather more of them than usual in Britain lately because Britain has suddenly become the place to make films in. Ian Morrison went along to one of our major studios to see just what was happening. This is Shepperton, one of the biggest film studio complexes in Europe, and it's studios like this which are the hub of the British film industry. Last year, 74 first feature films were made in Britain, and so far this year already 50 have been completed, with nearly half of them shot entirely on location, and the rest shot both on location and in the studios. And the list of people who've been making films here reads like something out of the motion picture industry's who's who. And if you were to work in the industry, you'd know that the craftsmen and the technicians here have been getting for themselves quite a reputation. Filmmakers are in the business of creating illusion, but as realistically as possible. The first studio I went into took me aback. It was like stepping onto a beach at night, which, after all, was what it was supposed to be. Nevertheless, the attention to detail was impressive. Perhaps that's why Shepperton has played host to such an impressive list of actors in the last month alone. People like Yul Brynner, Michael Caine, Sir Lawrence Olivier, Vanessa Redgrave, James Mason, Peter O'Toole, Gregory Peck, Rod Steiger, Claire Bloom. And the list of directors is just as famous. People like J. Lee Thompson, Tony Richardson, Jean-Luc Godard, and a great many others. The film I was watching was called Thin Air and starred Patrick Allen and Heather Dwyer. Jerry Levy was hard at work directing this rather delicate scene, but took off a few minutes to talk to me outside the studio. Tell me, what sort of a production is this? It's uh, Anglo-American. Mm -hmm. It's the first of uh, five that we have to do over the next 18 months. You say this is an Anglo-American production. Well, why are you making it here? Well, I think we make them somewhat more economically, and we make them well. well. What are the facilities like here, Jerry? Well, they're fine. I mean, I'm sure that they're incomparable, and they seem to be getting better. I've never, as far as Shepparton, I've never worked with a, a better, more cooperative bunch of people. Shepparton Stage H is the biggest film studio in Europe. And there I found work going on on some German sequences for the epic film Battle of Britain, which comes from the same stable that produced the James Bond films. But where the Bond films went for fantasy, the five million pounds or twelve million dollars being spent on this picture are being spent on strict historical accuracy. I talked to Guy Hamilton, the film's director. What have you been up to today? Uh, today, finishing off uh, the Sports Palace scene, which took place 25 years ago in Berlin, when the night before, for the first time ever, bombs had fallen on Berlin. And it shook the Germans rigid because they had been promised that no bombs would ever fall on Germany and they believed it. For your complicated setups, I mean, have you been able to, to get all the people you want, all the, the equipment, the crew? Oh yes, we've been collecting airplanes now for three years. Some have come from Canada, been flown across the Atlantic. We've collected wherever the airplanes have been. We've been reconditioning them for a year before the picture started. We've got the 16th largest air force in the world, I think. Yeah. <laughs> well, tell me, uh, when are we going to see it? Uh, September the 15th, 1969. If not, the producers will shoot me. Oh, yes. The future for the British film industry looks very bright indeed. There's a growing pool of skilled technicians, and increasingly British studios are an attractive proposition to foreign filmmakers. British actors, actresses, writers, directors are world famous, and now London is a major centre for international film production.